Hello. In today's episode, we are going to open Line Globe prepaid Wi-Fi. Here is the box of the Wi-Fi. It says here that it has two times stronger and has a wider coverage of signal. It has a three easy steps, just plug, load and serve. You can even customize your account, track your usage, activate your free data and load. Promos anytime. And also, load promos are available for you to do more surfing the internet. Let us now do the unboxing of the Wi-Fi. As seen from the outside, the box is in good condition. Let us remove this cover. For the information of everyone, I have already opened this box a while ago. Anyway. Let us proceed. Inside, we have here LTE wireless modem, a charger, Ethernet cable, a pair of antenna, Stickers which contains the serial number, IMEI and MAC address. A SIM card holder. Warranty certificate. the silica gel. This modem supposed to have a battery inside in order to function even without electricity. The service provider removed it, making it full-time dependent to its charger. Not good when you have power interruptions at home. Let us now do the installation of the antenna. Installation is very simple. Just a little twist to the left and do the same to the right. And tighten both ends of the antennas. I will now open the back cover of this modem. I am going to change the SIM card in this modem and replace it with Sun Cellular prepaid SIM. I will be careful not to damage the warranty seal. Once the seal is broken, warranty will be void or invalid. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. The default SIM inserted is Globe prepaid Wi-Fi SIM, and this modem is locked to one network. I am going to replace it with Sun prepaid SIM, and obviously the SIM card will not work as of now. But later on, it will. Let us now connect to our power adapter. We are now going to open line this modem. I will not be using the Ethernet cable. But. Instead, I will connect using the Wi-Fi connections.
Let's wait for a moment, my mouse freezes. Let's now connect to Globe at Home SSID. Once connected, open any web browsers available. Then access the management page of the modem by typing 192.168.254.254 in the URL. Since the modem is not yet open line, the LED, the indicator of the modem will remain in color red, which indicate that no connection or signal is available as of the moment. Username and password can be found below the modem. To open line this modem, we are going to access the hidden features in the management page. Please be patient, thank you. Once at the management page, go directly to the device settings tab. Click advanced settings. Click the DHCP on the left. Note. In the URL, change router setting to MCCMNC locking. Just leave the number sign alone. Type MCCMNC locking. MCC and MNC are abbreviations of mobile country codes and mobile network codes. These codes are used to identify the country and network code on mobile telecommunications. For GSM, CDMA or UMTS communications. PLMN is an abbreviation for Public Land Mobile Network. PLMN is a combination of wireless communication services offered by a specific operator in a specific country. The PLMN for Smart Telecommunications is 51503. Click Apply. Your settings may not take effect immediately. If you need to fully take effect, proposed restart the device. Click Yes to continue. Congratulations! Open Line is a success.
Let us now proceed on how to select the frequency band. The process is just almost the same on how to open line. Just access the device setting, advanced setting, and click DHCP. Instead of typing MCCMNC locking, type the word frequency in the URL. You can now choose which band is best in your location. Band 3, Band 28, Band 40 and Band 41. You can lock to any specific band you liked or you can continue with the default settings. It is up to you. We are done with the tutorial. I will just explore the interface of the modem.